All right, everyone, welcome to a quick little video here. And I first want to apologize if it sounds like I've been smoking 20 packs of cigarettes. But uh, I've been getting over a really bad cold lately, so that's why I can't really talk that loud. Anyways, so yesterday Microsoft ended up releasing its Get Windows 10 app to the Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. Now, what does that mean for everyone else? Well, that basically means that all that you do normally is click on a little icon that would show up in your system tray, and there you can reserve Windows 10. And we'll get into that in just a minute. But there's a criteria you have to meet before you can actually do that. You have to have your system to be compatible hardware-wise, meaning your hardware is up to specs to run Windows 10. Now, if you're running Windows 7, or Windows 8, you most likely will be able to run Windows 10 considering that the specs are very much identical in every way, shape, or form. So that area should be covered. Now, the other thing you have to look out for is make sure that you have automatic updates turned on or at least you have the latest Windows updates. Because if you don't, uh, there's a couple certain updates you will need. I believe there are two for Windows 7 and two for Windows it might be three for Windows 8.1, I'm not sure, but there's two for Windows 7 you need for sure. Um, so you have to have those before you can go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10, or at least get the app. Uh, the third thing is you have to actually have a genuine copy of Windows. I know earlier I stated, and Microsoft also stated, or at least, I don't know if you, I don't think it was officially Microsoft, but um, actually I think they did officially state it, I was staying corrected that they were going to support a non-genuine pirated systems. So they are not going to do that obviously anymore and that means that if you are not running a legal copy of Windows you are unfortunately not going to be able to cash in on the free Windows 10 update. Now I want to point out that despite what you see on this system even though it says that Windows is activated for testing purposes this system is not activated or at least is not genuine quote quote even though it says it is here because I just kinda wanna see if this will actually work now this is for testing purposes only I am not condoning anyone to pirate an operating system it is illegal okay and technically even doing this is is not really even legal um, but I'm doing it just is educational and entertainment purposes and that is it so pirating software is bad I do not condone it and I do not authorize anybody to do that just want to make sure we have that straightened out so with that said um, like I told like I said earlier that criteria is not met on this system which is most likely the reason why I'm not receiving that um, that uh, Windows 10 upgrade now Microsoft has had some issues with people who actually do have legitimate operating systems and you might be one of those people watching this video right now who have not been able to get their icon or app to show up or to download so to do that there's a way to kind of push the app on your system so now in order to do this you must go ahead and go to Microsoft's website is where I got a script here that will essentially um, force the update onto the system I will post this in the description for you guys so that you guys can have this script and go ahead and use it to um, get Windows 10 for your systems that are genuine and for some reason are not able to get the app due to the fact that there is just a um, software hiccup is what I'll call it in this sense. Alright, so how do you use it? Well, first of all I want to say that I added this little line of code right here which is basically just pause and that's going to prevent the command prompt from closing out when the script is finished doing its dirty work or its job so now another little thing you have to do is once you create your script file here uh, you, well to do that basically all that you have to do I'll show you that guys quickly you just go to start um, you open up a notepad file <coughs> excuse me open up notepad and then you can go ahead and just paste your script in here and then once you've done that save the file as a um, you can just save it like let's say one dot cmd uh, put it in a location that you know and essentially you'll see it'll show up right there and then all of your data that was in there you just have to essentially run it now to run this 
what you need to do is do not just double click on it because that's going to run it under standard user mode you need to run it under elevated privileges or as administrator so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click and click run as administrator so let's go ahead and do that we will then be prompted with the user account controls we click on yes and then you will see that the script has ran after the script is run you will notice down in our system tray might take a second for it to contact Microsoft servers but you will see that Windows uh, will essentially activate or not activate I should say what am I talking about I'm not even with it here you can now see that the get Windows 10 app is located down in the corner here so we can go ahead and press any key to continue that's gonna go ahead and close out that and then down here we have our get Windows 10 which is what you're supposed to see double click on that now and it'll open up this program and essentially it will present you with information about Windows 10 which you can read about if you want it just kind of has a little quick run through Windows 10 essentially to reserve your copy it's pretty easy all you do is click this button that says reserve your free copy or your free upgrade I should say pretty easy click on that please wait and it says great your upgrade is reserved and you can put your email address in here if you'd like to be notified when it's going to be installed on your system otherwise you can go ahead and just click skip email confirmation and then it's all done for now you click close and that's basically it nothing to it so that's basically all there is to kind of I should say fixing the Windows 10 app and then also more information on how to upgrade your system to Windows 10 for free so that you can take advantage of Microsoft's latest operating system. Uh, would I recommend Windows 10? Well, from what I've uh, seen so far using Windows 10, I would recommend it. Uh, it seems very stable, seems to be very user friendly, and I think Microsoft really is hit at home with Windows 10. I know there's a lot of people out there who are still griping about Windows 10 and don't like it and are staying with Windows 7. Some people of which are even staying with Windows XP and Windows 2000. I'm not even going to go there, but yes. So I would recommend it. I think it, so far it's really good. And um, yeah, that's basically going to be it. So bottom line here, uh, keep in mind, guys, use this only for good. This script right here, in a sense, will um, help you go ahead and uh, get Windows 10 on your system if for some reason your system is not going out and getting that app like it should if you go ahead and meet all the uh, meet the criteria so um, just wanted to point that out there for you guys and that is basically going to be it so I will see you in the next video sometime till next time guys talk to you later